face and say, this is the way you belong. He tried to run, but he couldn't. And you know, I, I look at him different. Because for a man to give up something that he didn't love. It must be Christ in him. We never used to call him Tony. We call him Godfather. Because of the son system name. Godfather. And he gave up Godfather for God's son. Wise man. <coughs> and he can only go. <laughs> you don't know, but he used to come to my home and say, I want to talk to you about something. Mm. But now he did too far, you know. Huh? But he get on the phone. Yes. He's in Jamaica. That's a phone call and Sunday morning he called me and said, I can't come to church, so bring the church to me. Yes. Yes. And we pray together. I love you, man. Mm -hmm. This is not in the, in the, in the sermon, okay? Yes, but it's in my heart. Yes. This is wonderful. Yes. And Mr. Lewis, we grew up together. We live weight together. Mm -hmm. I, I used to wonder how we couldn't get big, because you always stay asleep. <laughs> but now he's getting there. He's in love. You know, he's in love. His chest used to be up here, but now it's going up. Yes. <laughs> That's my friend. But it's a shame that people accept the change in you. They know who you used to be and think you are the same. So now you gotta invite them. Come to church with me. Come taste and see that the Lord is good. Now those who have respect for my half is will see me as the one God set over here. Amen. And that you belong to me. Yes. Sister Faith, you belong to me. All right now. Yes. <laughs> All right. She knows a long, long time ago. Yes, right. We are in the church. And Jesus, Jesus unpicked me yes. to be a pastor, yes. to be a teacher, yes. to lead you into holiness and true righteousness. Yes. Everybody don't come same time. No. <coughs> but I'm here to teach you. Yes. How to be what God wants you to be. Yes. Hallelujah. God allow me, the poor boy from Lingston, to become your teacher. Yes. That's right. Uh oh. It's God's work. It's God's work. So you can find your function in the body of Christ. That's right. So you can represent him well when you go outside yes. of the church. Yeah, we are representing good in the church. When we go outside, we need to represent him even better. God, by Son, Jesus Christ, unpicked me and commissioned me to preach and teach you. But you must have a readiness to be taught. You must have a readiness to grow. You must have a mind, a mindset to learn the word of God. God, through His Son, Jesus Christ, has opened my understanding yes. of the function of the gift. Mm -hmm. And He gave me to elaborate on it so you can get an understanding of it. Amen. There are many people in here who will all give to me. Mm -hmm. Some fight anybody they can't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth, What's your name? Is it Ingrid? Ingrid. 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 Uh -huh. She just left. Well, God bless her, what she just left. <laughs> and my sister over there. Looking over her glasses at me. <laughs> she's so much time she comes. <laughs> she just so anointed, but God gave it to me. She's family now. We can't try right. Come on in. Come on You can only get better as we get that way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. the better men of the church. Sometimes. <laughs> It caused the congregation to turn, be turned off when our minister preach wrong. I don't say redemption way. So when our minister preach wrong, it caused people to turn off. Huh. Some preacher can preach the Lord, but it's dead. 
as those are preach, they will be killing themselves. Mm-hmm. Preaching. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't go nowhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. When that means the operator that is or her calling. Mm-hmm. Those who have the flesh mm-hmm. will mm-hmm. grab a hold of it. Right. Because it's preaching in the flesh. They are both under the same ministry, yes, yeah. the flesh. Yes. And so when I uh, listen, this is our song to you. I don't know why I'm preaching this today. Uh, if you are called to preach, preach. Amen. And this is a fivefold ministry we're talking about here mm-hmm. in the book of Ephesians. Yes. A pastor should also be a teacher. And I'm speaking to you to have a readiness to obey God's word. You must seek God's divine intervention to can walk worthy of his calling. This is kind of hard for you, don't it? So in verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the head of the body of Christ. Right. Every one of you call. Mm-hmm. And we're supposed to teach you that you can tell somebody else mm-hmm. that there's something going on over, going on over redemption way. Hey. Amen. 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 Nobody ever come to this church and don't get blessed. Everybody. Everybody. They can come here Nothing. employed by Mr. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> and before you know it, they start to be Mr. Driver. <laughs> Nobody understand that? You come here walk in the church. And before you know it's our driving car. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we are sent in this church to equip you. For the work of the ministry. To be the best out there, sir. Not, I'm not here to tear you down. I'm not here to tear you apart. But I'm here to build you up. To the point where you are ready to serve. And those who are taking this message. Will step up. So they can be able to equip others. For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of the faith yes. and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Yes. I'm here to teach you about Jesus Christ, the right. heart and the finish of our faith. Yes. What a man. Yes. What a man. Yes. Can you imagine? You turn your back on him, you curse him out, you do everything, yet he come and die for you. Nobody like him. What love is that? Yes. Only those who have a readiness to learn will move from faith to faith. Only those who have a readiness to learn will move from glory to glory. Only those who have a a, a, a mind and a readiness to learn will make it from grace to grace and from everlasting to everlasting. No, no. Show Jesus your love him. Raise your hand and give him praise. Say thank you, Jesus. Give him some honor and some glory of praise. Clap your hand and say thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Till we come in the unity of the faith, of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man. And to the measure of the statue of the fullness yeah. of Christ. Christ. Mm-hmm. If you do what you are called to do, mm-hmm. the Spirit of God will operate through you. Yes. Not in self, mm-hmm. but in the Spirit. So, what I'm saying, mm-hmm. if you come and the Lord calls you to be a preacher, preach. Don't try to teach. No. You can be in danger. Yes. Because God loves his children. Yes. 
And you might teach the wrong thing. Yes. And hands up in limbo. Oh, yeah. So if you're called to teach, teach. If you're called to preach, preach. If you're called to be a, a deacon, be deacon. Yes. <laughs> and so the question asks, how long will this grow continue? Well, the answer, until we all come to the state of unity. The unity of faith is the answer. Until we all come into a state of maturity. Until we all come into a state of conformity. Until we all come into a state of conforming to him. And the image of his son. Yes. When we will find a better life in Christ, where we speak the truth yes. in love, in love. Yes. where yes. we all be become strong, yes, strong in, in the truth. All right, now that's it. Yes. Because if you are not strong in truth, you tell lies. When this truth is lived out in unity by all of us, yes. what are they? The Second Corinthians, chapter ten. I wonder why the time went so fast, but I realize somebody go too long today. Chapter ten. <laughs> Verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And having all in readiness, and having a ready, in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do all. Do we, uh, do we look on things of the whole world appearance? If any man trusts himself that he is Christ, I belong to Christ. Let him of himself think this again. But as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. For though I boast somewhat more of our authority which the Lord has given us for education and not for your destruction. I should not be ashamed. Don't do for I would just stop there. So I'm going to begin with verse 8. Is that alright? And I, although I was given the authority to start this church, it doesn't give me the right to do my own thing. No, I must follow others. You may think I'm doing this thing because I feel like, but not so. God's idea is for me to build up your most holy faith and not to tear you down. I'm not supposed to tear you down with words from my mouth. However, if you get out of line, then there is no unity among us. I have the right to discipline you. And that you discipline me. Because God made me the leader. That's what the verse is saying. So the Lord wants you to know, He gave me power to operate this church. Now, now while, a while back, Someone said to someone, Lord, didn't call Pastor Dylan to do in a pastor. Mm-hmm. And such a person says, Well, you weren't there, I was there when the Lord called him. Mm-hmm. But, well, it is obvious that because of this unity, such a person is not here anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Verse 3. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but do we walk? In the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. 
The apostles was in the flesh. Mm -hmm. They were living in bodies of flesh. Yeah. But did not wage war. Mm -hmm. They did not wage the Christian warfare. No. To fleshly method and move it. You, you don't have fleshly. Yes. You are in the flesh. Not but you cannot live by the flesh. No. To please God. No. So the pastor, weapons of warfare, we're not carnal. They will invite people with their message. They use methods that are mighty in God. They use what Jesus used. What did Jesus use? Anybody know what Jesus used? The word. The word. Praise the Lord. Well, okay. In, in, in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of his mouth. Mouth of God. So here we are. Christ fight the battle with his word from his mouth. Yes. Uh oh. They use methods that are mighty in God to pull down reasoning. Reason will kill you. Reason can be very dangerous. It can be a very powerful 